Hey guys, welcome to Home Sweet Homeschool. My name is Ashley and I'm a homeschooling mom to one and today we're going to talk about binding. I had a suggestion from one of my sweet viewers that said, would you please share the different ways that you have bound your units? So, you know, she was just interested. So I thought, why not? That's pretty interesting. I love to see things like that. I get ideas from other people. So I thought, why not? Now, you do not have to be a Gather Around Homeschool user to bind your things. If you're a person who likes to buy PDFs and print them at home, um, or you buy curriculum that is unbound, here are some options for you too. So definitely stay tuned if you wanna talk about some binding options. I'm gonna show you what I've used so far since September um, and tell you about if it worked or didn't work. And then I'm gonna show um, what we're gonna do for next year. Now I do want you to keep in mind that I have an only child. And I think that makes a big difference in printing at home the cost for printing at home and the cost for binding because I am only doing it for one. And I totally get that if you have more than one child, it probably is a lot easier to send that printing out to someone or have Rebecca print it. So I'm kind of talking from the perspective of, you know, one or two kids, or if you do want to print it at home. I have a friend um, that has five kids and she prints at home. So um, it really just depends on your preference. You can also, you know, like I said, send this out if you want to see what it looks like from Barnes & Noble. I know a lot of people use that. Jamie is Simply Living It. I'll try to link her down below. She just did a video on um, where she sent off her unit to be printed through them, and it looked amazing. And she shares how to do it and what it looks like, so it's a great video to check out. So what I'm going to share with you is how I do it at my house and what I've used. So when we first started Gather Round um, in September, we did North American Birds and I just printed it at home through my HP printer. I do have HP Insta Ink. And so I printed it through that and I just put it in a trusty binder. Now you see this does say Asia because I did use it more than once. Um, so I just put it in a binder. Of course, I put it in a blue one to match with birds, but binders totally work. And you probably don't even need this huge one like this. One inch binder would be totally fine. If that works for you, then that's great. And I'm not saying that it didn't work for us. I just like to try different things. So I would put it in a binder and then what I would do each day so my son wouldn't get overwhelmed is I would stick it on a clipboard. And I'll try to link one of these clipboards below. They're really nice because they do open up and hold your things. So if you go out and work somewhere else, you could put your pencils or things in here. So I keep this trusty clipboard around. This is a good thing to have if you homeschool. Um, so I could take the stuff out of the binder and put it on the clipboard. So binding it in a three ring binder totally works, okay? So don't think you can't do that. You don't have to be fancy. It's your home, do what works. Okay, the other thing that I tried, and I did a live video on the Gather Round Homeschool community on Facebook, is I use one of these Mead um, five-star notebooks. And I did this with Asia, and I took it at the beginning and separated each of the lessons, and I just put these folders in here. These did not come in here. I purchased these at Walmart, and I put like lesson one here, and lesson two here, and so it was all separated. It allowed me to plan. I could, um, like I had post-its in here, and I could plan for each day, and then as the day would come, I would slip it out of the pocket, throw it on that trusty clipboard and we use that. And this works really well too and it's really helpful for planning. If you like to plan and you like to um, know what's coming up, this worked really well and I just used these folders. And again, I'll link all this below so if this is something you wanna try, you can definitely go try it. So that works really well too. You could even take the folders out and just use this as a notebook because this opens up and you could just put your stuff in it. So it works, it works fine. Okay, then, then I saw on the Facebook community, people were using the Happy Planner in the ARC binding systems and I am a Happy Planner lover. Like I love Happy Planners. I've been using them for years. Um, I have both sizes of the hole punchers. I have the classic and the big Happy Planner. This is for the big one. Um, if you buy something like this, definitely do it with a coupon. Wait for Michaels and things to open it back up, to open back up, or um, to have a coupon before you purchase these because they can be expensive and there's no point in paying full price for stuff. There really isn't. 
So I got both of these, the big and the classic, um, for at least 50% off with a Michaels coupon. So you can probably get them at Joann's. I'm sure you can get them at Hobby Lobby and on Amazon because Amazon sells everything. So um, we started using this because I thought, you know what? I love the Happy Planner. This is going to be great. Let's try it. Okay, well, I have an 11-year-old son, and um, he's not the most careful with things. I mean, he is all boy, and he's just not very, he's a little rough, you know? And um, this is just a cover that I had. You know, you can change out your Happy Planner covers. But I did this with Oceans. So we bound Oceans um, with this Happy Planner. And these are like the really big rings. This was actually way too large. So don't buy, I don't know this size, but it was like way too large. These were on my teacher planner years ago, and this was just too big. So probably the one inch would work perfectly fine if you are interested in buying these, uh, the arc binding. The one inch ones, the smaller ones would be totally fine. And you also have to keep in mind, I did not print double-sided. I have done that with my newest units, and I'll show you that in a minute. But, um this yeah this was too big so oh y'all whoo it just whew, i had to take a deep breath when i would do work with him because he would have this all flipped back and then his papers he'd be writing and his paper would be looking like this and like, i can't handle that like that stresses me out i'm sorry and so at the end of every day i'd have to go in and i mean it's easy you just punch it back on there. It's not hard. I don't want to discourage you from using it if you're thinking, oh, this is going to work for me. It just didn't work for him. And he would even get irritated with it. And he even said at the end of our um, day the other day, he said, please tell me we're not going to use this next year. And I said, what do you mean? He said, "This, these little ring things. And I'm like, why do you not want to use them? And he's like, they drive me nuts. My papers come off of them constantly. So um, we're not going to use them next year, but that doesn't mean that you can't use them. Um, for me and for a planner, they work great. I love the ease of taking things in and out, um, and they work wonderfully, but I am a little more careful, and my planner just does kind of sit like on a shelf in our house, so like it doesn't get used like it does with an 11-year-old boy. So this didn't work for us, but I don't want to discourage you from using it. If it's something you would like to use, you can try it out. If you have this stuff laying around the house already like we did, that's why I didn't mind trying it. I've also seen people take these and bind them at the top, and that's a great idea too. So I'll link all this at the bottom, the Happy Planner rings and the Happy Planner punch. Now, the last thing I want to share with you, um, i got to give a shout out to my husband because he is, he, number one, he's great. And he has always, like, his mission is to just make my life easier. That's what I feel like. He's just a great man. And he knew that we used a lot of different things, and he knew that I printed stuff off all the time. And he's on Amazon a lot, and he's like, he surprised me the other day and said, this thing popped up in my, news, my um, home feed of something I may like. And I thought I'd order it for you and see if you wanted to use it for your homeschool. Now, this is something I would never order on my own because it's, it's quite expensive and it's not necessary. It's like a splurge buy if you just, if you just want to spend some money. And so he surprised me with a pro click. I mean, I was just like, what? Um, because I've seen these. I've seen people use these, all kinds of homeschooling mamas. Um, I know at the Waldock way, I watch her, and she had a video how she binds all of her stuff, and I was like, oh my gosh, I love it. Um, but I wouldn't order it because I'm not one to spend money on it. I think we had to pay like $94 for it. It was on sale that day for just a little bit of money off. And so he ordered this for me, and it kind of scared me at first. I'm like, I don't know how to use that. But it's really, really simple to use. It will punch up to six pages at a time. And I know you're thinking, girl, I don't have time to do six pages at a time. That will take forever. Actually, it didn't. Once I got the hang of it, I was done just like this. Now, remember, I'm only doing one book. One student book, one teacher guide. So I don't know what it would feel like to do like a ton of kids' books. But for me, once I got the hang of it, it was really, really easy to use. And the Waldock Way actually has a video where she shares how to do it. If you need a tutorial, and I did, and I watched hers, super easy to use. And then you just um, take out the, 
where it cuts the paper. But it just puts in a zoop, you just do like that, and it puts in all the holes, and it's just amazing. Um, and there's a lot of different options. You don't have to get this one, but this was the cheapest one. I have a comb binder already that I used um, when I taught, and it always frustrated me, and I had a really hard time using it, so I didn't use it much, and this was so much easier. But don't think this is what you have to have to do Gather Around Homeschool or any curriculum successfully. Our curriculum works just as well in a three ring binder. So don't stress, don't stress. I'm just showing you some options. So we got this and we got this. Now, a lot of people say we like the spirals better. That's great. I don't really want to thread the spiral through. I watched some videos on that. I didn't want to do that. So I just ordered these um, black spines um, they open up like a binder does, which is really cool. They do come with a tool, if you need it, that will open and close the binding. And the wall dot way does show you how that works. But I just did it with my fingers. It's really simple. This is um, 85 sheet capacity, and there's 25 of them. And what I did beforehand is I just go and see how um, big or how many pages I'm printing and I always print back and front. So if you print um, front and back, then this totally works for the units. They fit on there perfectly and I'll show you in just a minute how I got the North America to fit on here just fine. That's what we're gonna use next year. So I did go with the 85 sheet capacity. There are less and there are more. You find what works for you. Um, I think this was like $12 on Amazon. I'll link it below. And this worked for us. And let me show you what it looks like. Now, the, the teacher in me who loves all the pretty things. Oh, I love it. I love it, guys. Like, I, I totally, I love it. Um, I was just like, this is the greatest thing. I love it. So this is the teacher's guide. And all I did, I just used regular paper. Somebody asked me the other day, what pound paper do you use? And I'm like, girl, you know, I don't pay attention to stuff like that. We buy like regular paper. We order it from Amazon. I think I went and looked just so I could check for her and it was the 20 pound. It's regular printer paper because we're gonna write on it and we're gonna be done with it and we're gonna put it in the basement. So I don't wanna spend extra money or worry about things like that. That just doesn't matter to me. So it's 20 pound paper. The cover is cardstock that I got at Michael's. And so, I printed it on cardstock, I laminated it. The one thing I did have to do was trim it up a little bit at the bottom so it would fit in this. But it was super easy to do, wasn't hard, and once I got them all trimmed up, it worked out fine. And it was just the laminated cover. I didn't have to do that with the other pages, they did fine. So this is what it looks like and it is beautiful. And I did a flip through of this if you wanna see North America, but I love it. Um, and then this is my son's and I showed it to him and I'm like, okay, this is what we're going to use next year. What do you think about it? Do you think it's going to be better than those happy planner rings? And he was like, this is like a real book. I love it. So, so far so good. Now, if you know anything about me, I like to change things up and when things don't work, we look for another alternative. So for right now, this is what we're going to try um, and we'll see how that goes. So this is his book for next year and the great thing about it is you can open this back up if you don't wanna buy a bunch of these or you have multiple children and you don't wanna keep buying packs of these. You open this up, you take your papers off and you can put your next unit on it. So these spines are gonna be good for as long as you need them because you can use them for multiple units and that's awesome. So those are all the things that I have used to bind our Gather Around Homeschool curriculum. Remember, do what works for you. Try something out until you find what works in your home. Let me know what you use because you may do something that I've never heard of before and I may love it. So um, definitely, definitely check out all the options and find what works for you. Don't just say, hey, that's what she's doing. That's the end all be all. It's not. Do what works for you and make sure you ask your kids and kind of see how they feel about all of it, what works best for them. Let me know if you have any questions. All the things that I shared today are gonna to be in the description box below so that you can go check them out for yourself. Um, I'll probably link them to Amazon because I do have an affiliate link through them. Um, but don't feel like you have to use that. If you wanna just go check them out on Amazon yourself, do that. Or you can go to Michael's or any of those other stores. 
Again, thank you so much for the suggestion on this video because I would have never thought about sharing how I bind it. So I do appreciate that. Thank you guys for watching. If you like what you see, don't forget to like and subscribe. Share this out with anybody you think it might could help. And um, just thank you. Thank you so much.